Today we have a double whammy of Doctor Who news concerning both the immediate future of the programme and episodes that aren't going to air for another 18 months. So first of all we have this brand new exclusive image from one of the 60th specials courtesy of Empire magazine. Empire have also done an interview with both David Tennant and Russell T Davis as part of their new issue which comes out this Thursday and will you know presumably contain lots more images and information about the specials. We had a similar thing around this time last year. Actually incidentally the day that I'm recording this and releasing this is one year since Paradox around so one year since Jodie left one year since the 40th Doctor was introduced to us and was on our screens for the first time. But yes, in September of last year, I think, ahead of the broadcast of Power of the Doctor, Empire Magazine once again ran a Doctor Who interview, Doctor Who feature, with an exclusive image of the 13th Doctor on the side planet. Obviously at the time we didn't know that's what it was, but yeah, that kind of sent the internet into frenzy because people were saying, oh my god, is this like from her regeneration scene? Is this the site of her regeneration? Is this where it takes place? So what we have this time is a very intriguing image of David Tennant as the 14th Doctor from one of the specials, probably the Star Beast, I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, the, the outfit he's wearing without a jacket kind of matches up with stuff we've seen from the second special, Wild Blue Yonder, where he appears to be more in just the shirt and the waistcoat. But the set that he's in would appear to be from the Star Beast. Now, this is based on a couple of things. Uh, number one, we saw this in that initial teaser for the 60th at the end of Power of the Doctor one year ago today. It's one of those first few shots we saw where the Doctor is there, kind of ducking underneath this sort of sliding door thing that's sliding down, and Donna is there in the background. They're in some kind of ship. I think at the time, people kind of speculated that maybe it's like Beat the Meep's ship. But I think personally, it's probably more likely to be the Wrath Warriors kind of rocket ship thing because it looks kind of too big to be the Meeps ship because from what we've seen of that, it's like a kind of little tiny escape capsule type thing. But yes, this is undoubtedly the same set. Uh, we saw it as well in one of the recent Who Spy images, a very sort of close-up image detail of what we can also see in, in this image of like the fluorescence kind of coil tube thing there on the left. That was glimpsed in a Who Spy picture, and now, of course, you know, we're seeing a bit more of, of that set that we saw also in the trailer shots. Uh, so, yeah, I'm guessing this is probably part of, like, the Wrath Warriors ship, probably from Star Beast. But then again, it could be, you know, from Wild Under or one of the other specials, who knows? Uh, I think, as well, from memory, in that first shot we saw of it in the trailer, interesting little detail, might mean nothing, might mean something, but there was on, on a sign door like kind of a, a diamond sort of insignia logo shaped symbol type thing, which also appeared in some of the shots from the more recent trailer, which I think were implied to be from Wild Blue Yonder. So perhaps there is more to this than meets the eye, perhaps it is from Special 2, but I think for the moment I'll, I'll say it's Special 1. Uh, I'm willing to be proven wrong though. I mean, some people are kind of saying for a moment, oh, is this like the new TARDIS console room, the new TARDIS interior? But, I mean, no. If you look back at the evidence, if you look back at that previous shot, the previous images and stuff, this is very clearly a different set. And what we have is the Doctor there with his Sonic kind of presumably uh, scanning or playing with the controls there. Some lovely uh, set decoration here, lovely panels and buttons and lights and things. A really nice looking set. And he appears to be hovering or like floating or whatever. Um, not quite sure why that would be. I guess if it's a spaceship, then maybe it's something to do with gravity. I mean, in that original shot we saw in the trailer, the Doctor and Donna were sort of, you know, not affected by the gravity in that way. Their feet were on the floor, so maybe something happens, you know, over the course of the scene or the sequence of the episode or whatever that, I don't know, it affects the gravity of this ship and makes the Doctor suddenly float up into the air. I'm just noticing as well, actually, right now, that over on the right-hand side of the frame, I think you can see his, his coat, his jacket kind of hung up there on something. It appears to be some kind of blue coat which would match with the 14th Doctors so yeah I'm guessing that's what it is and certainly as well I recently did a video all about the 14th Doctors costume alongside a guy called Joe a very uh, knowledgeable guy about Doctor Who costumes and things and also alongside a screen accurate 14th Doctor costume which Joe himself owns and has put together so that is a really interesting video if you haven't watched it uh, great to kind of learn a bit more about this, this wonderful costume really, really nice looking thing then we have this sort of excerpt of the interview, which obviously, you know, will be published in full on Thursday as part of the magazine, but with more quotes and information, no doubt. But the kind of headline quote is, David Tennant's Doctor Who return is unlike any episode ever. The specials are Russell off the leash. 
We also have Russell talking about the Star Beast and how he needed a kind of a setting or a kind of storyline to bring Donna back into the show, back into Doctor Who, and because, you know, she lives in London, he immediately kind of went to the Star Beast in terms of inspiration. He thought that was a perfect way to tell that story of bringing her back into the Doctor's life. And then David talks about how he's playing a new incarnation of the Doctor. He says, that was the first exciting piece of mischief that Russell created, that I was going to be Doctor number 14 rather than Doctor number 10 again. And you just have to wait and see why the 14th Doctor is so much like the 10th. So interesting, you know, that presumably there is kind of some story reason into why this has happened. He says that he was surprised by the way that Russell had used the Star Beast's inspiration for the first special when he read the script, and then it's the second script, so Wildly Yonder, which is the one that he says is unlike any episode of Doctor Who ever before, and that's why Russell is really off the leash. So, interesting stuff. I mean, we kind of knew that already, we kind of sensed that, but it's, yeah, really great to kind of hear a little bit more about Wild Beyond and what they might entail. They're hyping up a lot, aren't they, in terms of what this episode is. We know very, very little about it, and to know, at least now, that it is unlike any episode of Doctor Who that we've had ever in the past is really, really exciting and kind of just makes me wonder, really, what the hell it is they, they've put together here. So that's that, that's our bit of 60th news today, but also we've just recently had confirmation that Shooter Gatwa's second series of The Doctor started filming today as well, so an important day for, for Doctor Who fans, you know, it's a year anniversary of Power of the Doctor, it's a year since we saw that first trailer for the 60th, a year on we've got a glimpse, a better glimpse of one of the sets that we saw in that first teaser, and now we've also got confirmation that Shooter Gatwa's second series has started filming, so series 15, you know, this is just crazy in terms of the lead times here, in terms of what they've managed to achieve you know when you think back to Doctor Who's past you know there's a time in the 60s where they were literally recording episodes like the week before and then putting them out like the following Saturday and there have been other similar situations in Doctor Who's past where they've been doing it really really close to the wire you know finishing editing episodes like in the days before broadcast and kind of handing them into the BBC you know even in more recent years that kind of stuff has been happening I'm sure like Moffat and people in Channel maybe have been saying stuff like that you know in interviews and stuff that you know like on the, the Thursday or Friday maybe that they were still working on the episode ahead of it going out on the Saturday or Sunday so you know this is a really really great sign that they've managed to get on top of that we already knew that they were doing a really great job with this i mean the 60th was shot in like may to june of last year that was like well over a year before it's going to be broadcast next month it's in the can you know that's in the can series 14 is also in the can i think that wrapped back in june or july maybe and you know that's all there as well they're probably still like finishing editing no doubt and cgi and stuff and visual effects you know it won't be like completely locked down yet but the fact they've got so much of it done and so much of it in the can, and that they've now started Series 15 production as well, you know, we knew it was in pre-production, but the fact they've actually started filming it, not only before Series 14 goes out and the Christmas special, but also before the 60th specials go out, that is just kind of bonkers. Uh, but really, really amazing, really, really great, you know, to see that the tables have turned here in terms of the lead times, they've got more time to work on these episodes, you know, more stuff is being banked, so hopefully, we are going to get this more kind of consistent release schedule from year to year now. Because they've got all this stuff, you know, in the can, in the bank, they can release it more regularly. And so hopefully there'll be less gaps and things going forward, which is really great. So it's a thumbs up all round on this. Really fantastic. I mean, there's a quote, I think, from Jane Tranter, one of the executives on Doctor Who and also one of the executives at Bad Wolf from a recent industry event type panel thing, I think a few days ago or maybe last week, where she was saying, you know, this show is a beast to produce, but we have nevertheless managed to get our second series into production within a year of starting series one, which, yeah, it's just fantastic. It kind of says it all, really. I, I think, you know, the future is really bright for Doctor Who in, in terms of the lead times and the regularity of new episodes and shorter gaps between series as well. So, yeah, really phenomenal news. Really, really great to see. What are your thoughts on both these bits of news here? The image and interview quotes that we've got from Emma Magazine and also the fact that Series 15 has gone into production and is now, you know, going to be filming over the coming days and weeks. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your theories about all this stuff. You know, where is that location that the Doctor is in in that exclusive image? What is going on there? Which special is it from? Is it from Special 1, Special 2? Whatever your thoughts, let me know down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more stuff like this in the future. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.